It's now been 10 years since Tropical Storm Allison roared into Houston, showing us that storms don't have to have hurricane strength to cause massive amounts of damage. Allison caught the city by surprise, dropping more than three feet of rain in some areas, causing deadly flooding and billions of dollars in damage. So now, a decade later, is the city ready for another storm like Allison? And Focus reporter Ted Oberg asks city leaders and takes a look back with the survivor. After 10 years, Una tormenta, Allison. Parishioners at the Soldiers of the Cross Church are incredibly thankful now, 10 years later. But when the rain started that night 10 years ago... That night, the, the Allison, oh, all our families had to be rescued. Some uh, uh, elderly were with the water over here, carrying our kids. It was so much water, so fast. By the time they got to the safety of an overpass two blocks away, there was nothing left of the church compound they'd built. It was like a big lake in just a, the half of the houses you can see. The church owned a block of land just off the East Tex Freeway for the church and nearly a dozen members' homes. Theirs were some of the more than 70,000 Houston area homes damaged or destroyed by Allison. This is your old neighborhood. Yeah. Eventually, the Harris County Flood Control District decided to buy out the entire neighborhood, 245 properties for a flood control project, and the compound was bulldozed. They didn't know where they'd end up. Back then, rain swollen bios had taken over. Downtown was flooded. The Alley Theater was ruined. Freeways, parking lots of abandoned and at that point useless cars and trucks. 30,000 people needed emergency shelter after Allison. There was $5 billion in damage. I think it equates to um, 32 trillion gallons of water which I understand is enough to meet the United States water supply for a year. Since then, the Harris County Flood Control District spent at least $1.5 billion widening bios and getting the region ready for the next one. But Houston Mayor Anise Parker says it still isn't enough. If a rain event like Allison occurred again next week, the city of Houston would flood. There is simply no way, she says, to deal with 36 inches of rain that fast anywhere. I see the most beautiful gift from God. Except to do what Pastor Joel Mondahar did, taking all that buyout money and finding higher ground, much higher ground. Martinez family, Castillo family. Tens of thousands of Houstonians had to rebuild. Pastor Joel's church bought 40 acres of land on a hill in Kingwood. They made it even taller. All the flooded families are now back together in new homes within walking distance of their church. In a place they view is the answer to that prayerful question asked on a flooded overpass that night 10 years ago. The answer was a, a, a lot better place. So many of us had to move to a better place after Allison came through. There were 20 inches of rain in spots from the ship channel all the way to 1960, 36 inches where Pastor Joel had his old church. Now look, if all of this sounds new to you, you're not alone. There are 1.1 million new Houstonians since Allison rolled through. A lot of us still need to prepare. In Focus, Ted Ober, 13 Eyewitness News. Approximately $1.5 billion of the $5 billion in damage caused by Allison occurred in the medical center. We'll show you why Allison hit that area so hard and the changes made to prevent it from happening again. That is tomorrow night at 10.